Hi, this is Sue from the Mountain Canary Company. Ed and Polly would like to visit with you about some common sense. Go ahead, Ed. Howdy, folks. I'd like to very to introduce you to a very important player here today. This is Miss Polly. She's our Tennessee walking mule. She was given to me one morning on a Saturday, and I've never turned back. She's a baby. She was like three. And look at her. She's a growing up girl now. Okay. Polly's a real sweetheart. She's a Tennessee walking mule. Polly is a is a big character. She's the clown in the bunch. Well, what we'd like to talk to you about is <clears throat> is, is a little more common sense. Uh, let me sit myself down here. You get to a certain age on a hot summer day like this, you don't hesitate not to sit down. And Polly's going to get restless, and I don't want to be under her foot. Well, folks, um, <clears throat> Sue and I were talking about this the other day. She said, you haven't talked to anybody about your favorite worst expression of we ain't, you ain't got a hard far to go. Well, we joke about that <clears throat> a lot. And I joke about that with Robert Eversall some too, where um, that, say, that saying's got some serious thought behind it. Um, years ago, I was packing a, cr a crew into, um, into a staircase area, and I had to stop and pick up a couple extra box, uh, bear resistant boxes and I got in a hurry they had straps on them I just strapped them on top of a load I was already carrying in and said oh hell they ain't got far to go well <laughs> that is my dear friends a kiss of death <clears throat> we went in a ways and uh, heck I could just about see my destination right over the next little bump there through some trees and uh, uh, all of a sudden, the borrowed mule I put that on blew up. He didn't like the way the box moved on him or something. And he took off. He ran through my string, which got my string to run over the top of me. And they took on up the trailhead. And, I, and they, the other two mules that had this stuff on them stopped. So I, the guy helping me, I said, you grab them. And I went up to catch up my girls. And when I caught him, tied him up to a tree up there, came back down, everybody was gone. Well, what the heck? And I started looking at the hoof prints, and they had all turned around and headed back for the trailhead. I said, this is going to be a really long day. Uh, but so I, I waited around a while, and, and here up the trail came jingling up those two mules. Well, they'd gone down the trail a ways, and one of the loads had slipped bad enough to stop the, the Casper from going further on. They gathered him up, and, and uh, we all headed in. But that was a real that was a real moment of truth for me, because I decided that was not sensible. So from then on out, whenever the opportunity like that arises for me to reach back and get flippant and say, "Well, hell, we ain't got far to go. It's load slipped with a shove it back. We won't tighten it." I'm not going to take the time. I'm tired. It's been a long day. We ain't got far to go. That reminds me of how that could turn around and bite you in the butt. So, from, that, from then on out till to this day, when everything, anything goes wrong or starts to unwind and go south on us, I stop, tie off the string, go back, fix it. Not I'll fix it part way. Fix it all of the way. So, you know, that's kind of a, that's been really saved my bacon so many times, and I've had folks helping me, but geez, Ed, we just almost there, just shove it up. The, nope. Tighten it up. You don't know when that's going to slip down, get in trouble, hurt one of your animals, and give you a training issue. That ain't got far to go issue carries over a little bit into to, uh, maintenance. Um, elk season, you rolled into elk season. Polly, you put Polly, you put your packs on, rolled in there, oh, and you chased that pack all over the place. It didn't fit. Nothing worked. It slipped and slid. Well, what do you do when you get back? I would venture guess 80% or more of the people are going to grab that equipment, throw it back in a storage, probably above the, above the garage somewhere, let it grow mold, pull it back out again, clean it up, slap it on, and take off for the next elk season without having fixed the problem. 
So that problem is just like they ain't got far to go. You fix them. You don't play, play games go halfway in there. You go all the way. If you go all the way, you get everything in, everything will fit, you pay attention to what you're doing, and uh, you won't have any extra wrecks. Okay, is there anything I'm missing on this? So you've been a, you've been a player in all of this for years. You're the one that's telling me, no, oh, no, you don't say that. We'll fix it. Well, never, every time I go with you, at, uh, and there's just a little bit Holly. that needs fixing, I, I always have Ed stop, you know, and he's he's always frustrated with me because I, you know, we're, we're you know, 20, 30 feet from, from the trailer, and I'm <laughs> saying, let's fix this. So, well, that's a little bit overkill. You're making it sound off. Well, maybe, a maybe a ways before we hit the trailer. But, um, yeah, uh, my idea is to to stop and fix it. Holly. You know, tighten up their cinches. Just be safe. Well, so, folks, this is just an idea. Just, you know, it's not saying that you're going to do this. I'm not sitting here just rambling. But I'm trying to see, talk to you folks in somewhat in parables painted a picture for you so that it kind of sticks a little bit in your mind so when you get into that environment while you're doing this stuff maybe it'll pop up and say you know maybe it's just wiser for me to stop and pull those last cinches tighter and tighten that girth up oh, I've got a quarter of a mile half a mile to go you know I could probably shove it back and forth enough times stop fix it you do not need Put in your cat. There's lots of words in your vocabulary you don't use. You don't invite the devil in, and you don't say, "I ain't got far to go." Thank you, folks, for coming by. Don't forget, if you if you wouldn't mind to subscribe, we like to keep other people coming into this too, and that's how we do it. And as always, remember, ride out there as often as you can, but please try to ride safely as you can. Thank you very much. Have a great day.